Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically how we can balance a checkbook register, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's say that you are working, you have $500, and I have that up here at the top right of my checkbook register, and what you want to buy is you want to buy a virtual reality headset. You know that the virtual reality headset costs $490, including tax, including shipping, including everything. So you think you're good, but then you remember that you had some expenses this last week that you haven't updated in your checkbook register. So I want to show you how you can do that to still check to see if you have enough money to buy that VR headset. So on this very first line, what you do is you use this top row, the white row, to record either a deposit or a withdrawal. This number column right here is only if you write a check. So your first expense, as you're going back through your receipts, it happened on the 23rd. And what you're going to do is you're just going to write the date, and then you're going to write a description of the transaction. Uh, so you downloaded an expansion pack for one of your games on your PS4. And so the expansion pack, that costs $19.95. So since that's taking money out, you're going to put that in the withdrawal. You're going to say $19.95. You're not going to use this check column uh, until we get to the actual writing a check later. So then since that's a withdrawal, this is a minus. Any deposit is a plus. So you write it back over here, $19.95. If you want, you can actually write the operation. Then you do just some basic math and $500 minus $19.95. You are at your new balance. It's still in the same line, but now it's in the gray. So you're keeping a running balance. You actually only have $480.05. Then you go to your next one. You are feeling generous for your family since everyone is stuck in the house with the coronavirus quarantine. You decide to get some Uber Eats from, oh, let's say Olive Garden for the family. And you say, well, I'm working. I can pay for it until you get the bill and you realize, holy guacamole, $74.38, including tax and a tip, that's an expensive meal. Better to get some top ramen, but you have to pay that out. So let's write $74.38 over here again. And our new balance, we're going to subtract that, is going to be $405.67. So as of now, you don't have enough money, you need $490, but you are a working teenager, and so you finally get your McDonald's paycheck. You work there, oh, about 20, 25 hours a week, and you got paid $350.18. Not bad for two weeks' work. And since that is a deposit into your account, you're going to put that in this deposit column. So we're going to go back over here. We're going to write it again, but this time instead of Subtracting, we are going to add. So now we looks like we're doing fine. 755, 85. But the main reason that you are working is because your parents told you that you can have your own car as long as you are willing to pay for your car insurance. And that is expensive. So on the 27th, you wrote a check for car insurance. Now, this is the only time that we're going to use this column right over here, the number. This is just in case you want to keep track of your checkbook numbers. So this was check number 1819, and that just they just go in order. And your car insurance, you actually mail that in, and that was a, a flat rate of $280. Now, the thing with checks is that they don't clear the bank instantly. Even though you're not going to see this money out of your account unless it's a few days, then you know that you still have to pretend like it's gone. You can't spend that money. When it does come through and when the bank finally does clear the check, that's when you will fill out this little check right here. So right now it doesn't look like you have enough money, but thank goodness for Grandma. Grandma gave you some money for, the beat for your birthday. She gave you $20, so we're going to put that right here. And lo and behold, with Grandma's $20, you've got $495.85, enough money for your headset.